quite amusing, but if I went out there, there'd be no hair blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got blown away. <laughs> it was like Piglet. <laughs> it's a very blustery day, Piglet. <laughs> This episode of Cache Canada. We're on our way to an Earth Cache as we're cruising across to Nanaimo, BC. Yeah. We had to go below decks because it's it was so windy. Huh, it's too windy. Huh. Yeah. And we're approaching the plume, and that's the Earth Cache that we're uh, trying to get uh, yeah, what's while it we're called? traveling. Fraser River Plume. Yeah. We're almost there. We can see it uh, just coming up now, and we have to mark the coordinates and answer some other questions. So I went to waypoints, and I'm just going to take a screenshot of my waypoints. Yeah. And, and here it is. You can see the difference in the color between the Fraser River water and the ocean water. Ready? Ready? Now. There we go. Got it. Got it. The Fraser River plume is visible about midpoint from the ferry to Duke Point in Nanaimo. The plume is the brackish, sediment-loaded surface layer formed when the Fraser River discharges into the Strait of Georgia. This sediment-loaded water tends to be more buoyant and layer on top of the salt water in the Strait of Georgia. This layering creates the plume, which can vary in thickness from mere centimeters to up to 10 meters. Thanks to Land Monkey for the placement of this interesting earth cache. That was a pretty cool earth cache, and there were only 202 with wow. that rating worldwide out of three million plus geocaches. We got one of them. Yeah. When we land, we're going to be touring through Nanaimo. Yeah.